If you're anything like me, the number of rod and reels you have keep on multiplying, which means we need to come up with innovative storage solutions for all these new rods. Now, if you wanna learn how to store a large number of rods in an area the size of a bucket, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But first, time for a supply run. First things first, we're going to measure out 12 inch sections on our PVC pipe and mark it. Now with everything marked out, time to start cutting. Now we're at the point we're going to start assembling our rod storage bucket. So for these steps, we're going to need our bucket, our PVC tubes that we just cut, and our bag of sand. We're going to start by pouring a little bit of our sand into the bucket. We're going to pour just enough sand to get an initial base to where we can set our rod tubes. Now we're going to grab our first rod tube and start putting them in position in the bucket. We want to do a nice even spacing to get as many rods in here as possible. So now we got our rod tubes in position and evenly spaced how we like them, we're going to start adding more sand to hold them in place. Now with our sand in place, we're going to move all of our rod tubes into their final positions. Now with all of our sand in place, we want to make sure all of our rod tubes are straight up and down. Another thing I want to point out is all of these along the outside rim of the bucket are protruding about two inches above the lip of this bucket. And that's so our rods are resting in the tubes and not resting on the bucket. And as a little bit of a bonus to get a little extra rod storage, you'll notice that we put two rod tubes here in the middle of the bucket. Now what's important is with these two in the middle is they want to protrude even higher above these on the outside edge by a few inches. And that'll allow you a little extra rod storage without interference with the other rods and reels in the bucket. Now there's only one last thing to do and that's test it out and see how well it works. Just like that, another space-saving DIY rod storage idea that hopefully you can use in the future.